Welcome back to New Kamak. Did we establish that Thurgood is still wearing Darby's chakram hat? Yeah, I think it's it's honestly at this point it's weird that no one's talked about it, and he's just sort of afraid to ask. So yes, he is. So Thurgood is, is aware it. that he's wearing it. He's wearing it as a, he doesn't really have a conception of of how he would use it or even how to take it off safely. He's a little <laughs> afraid of it. So I think yeah, uh, he he's keeping it on his head mostly out of anxiety i think at this moment yeah. thurgood yeah, like instincts he doesn't understand are just like firing off in the back of his brain and he, so he's just anxious like oh um these are these dangerous men that we're looking for when are they not dangerous like but why would we be looking for them if they were nice <laughs> like this is just every day yeah, I'm like used to it now. We don't have friends. We just we just have murderers to we be. We just have missions. We had friends. Some of us did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you approach this house? Absolutely. I w- I mean Carefully. they just killed they just killed my very best friend. I'm going in hot. I'm trying to not have him going so hot. Like, no, 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 no. We gotta... <laughs> you can't stop me, Escavo. I'm hot. Because you are trying to hack into an actual security system that is already fortified uh, against such intrusions, um, that increases the difficulty of this. Five? Five, six successes? Dang. Just shut them fucking down. <laughs> I hack the neighborhood. <laughs> the houses start to form a transformer. The, the city is mine. As Excavo's doing hacking, I go up to the sign for their home security system, and I simply remove it from the ground and set it face down and turn around to everybody. He's like, we're good to go. Are you, are you trying to avoid the, the security light? Yeah, the, the motion set light would turn on. I don't care. Those go off <laughs> all the time if even a kitty cat runs by. Nobody True. like sees their security light go off like right in front of their house and be like, <gasps> are there shrubs around or bushes or anything? Oh, wait, I can jump really high. I was going to sit in a bush and have him grow me up to the, the second floor. <laughs> but I could just jump really high also. I think it would be funnier if we did it that way. Freaking Mar- Mario style. I mean, that's much cooler. That's what I was thinking. Jack and the Beanstalk this shit. Augustine, <laughs> I know how you can make it up for my eye. Yeah, you're you're like a super jumper. You're like a fucking dragoon. Uh, yeah, I'll... I'll- so you now have uh, complete control over the security system. And you, you can make it do yes. or not do whatever you want. Okay, great. Dang. I'm going to disable all the alarms. Also, no like, think about making it, like, just, like, five degrees too warm. Not so they be, like, uh, alerted, <laughs> but it's just, like, you know, kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> um, make, I make an intimidation roll, right? Like, that, that's, I like up, that. That's, that's psychological. Sweat them out. <laughs> Now, d- does security include the thermostat? Like, is it a smart home? No, not this particular system. I, I can't think of a reason why the the thermostat would be controlled or monitored it, by a security. System. It's an important part of any home security system. Shows how much you know. <laughs> Boomers live there. Confirmed. It's a total smart home. She turns their toilet into a bidet. Do they have any cameras? Can you check Facebook on the fridge? You you do get access to a smart thermostat, sure. Uh, also, you don't see any evidence of any cameras. Weird. You have a, all these alarms and no cameras? All right. Not, not that uncommon. Okay, yeah. I disable all the alarms, and I make sure, I make sure to tell everybody about what I have just done. <laughs> like, look I'm- at me. And, and this, is, this took you like what, like five minutes less? How this this has know. to have been incredibly impressive to the. Maybe rest I of do us. it on my smartwatch. 
Like almost <laughs> not believable. Just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, <laughs> you hacked their whole system just it, now? It's a, it's a hobby of mine. She's a hacker. It's what she does. I'm currently laying inside of Bush. And I say, Augustine. Beam me up. <laughs> Augustine. I know how you can make it up for, for me. You know my eye that you gouged out recently. Grow me up there. We're going in. I could hack City Hall if we want. I don't... <laughs> that would be a crime. <laughs> and this is not? I'm not going to lie. As far as your request for me to, to beam you up, Augustine, Augustine is Augustine Bush is thoroughly taller, confused as like how he is he is thoroughly confused as to why you think he needs to make anything up to you because uh, his neck still hurts from being strangled and screamed at. Augustine uh, Bush taller. If I were to do a trivial spell, Bush it, taller, please, Augustine. Thank you. Th- there's also a chimney on the roof if that factors into anyone's. Oh, it does. You want to go into the chimney? Are you sure? I'm about to Santa this. <laughs> Thurgood feels his Santa hat, and he's like, "This, this is my time. I've been prepared." For this. <laughs> I don't think that Speed of Seasons passing is the spell for this. Um, I the think it would be things. awaken the ancients and have the bush throw him. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> Thaumaturgical yeah. arts, green like hold path. him like a baseball and just like wail him up there. <laughs> yeah, Bush pretty master. much. I think I think that's the ticket. Will that be loud? That is not very casual. We could theoretically like stow away in the nearest vehicle as soon as I cast Awaken the Forest Giants on a nearby mature tree and tell them to just eradicate the house. Uh. Aren't we trying to like learn from these guys? Like, don't we want to know right, we things? Don't wanna be, yeah, I'm just we don't being be well, true to my prince. Obvious. He clearly has a thirst for blood that only meat pulp can satisfy, and my tree <laughs> can produce meat pulp. Jesus I would Christ. like to kill. <laughs> uh, you you do see one large tree in the backyard. So our options are available. How do we, as a team, feel? Uh, are we going in? Are we risking this? I just got done beating the prince up. Like, <laughs> single-handedly. Didn't even try. Okay, so Thurgood has some Darby in him somewhere. <laughs> you, you you hope. We all have a little Darby in us somewhere. Do you want some? Speed of season's passing on the bush. But dun, while it's dun, 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 levitating... Dun, dun. The Archduke, it, I don't know, rustles his jimmies and gives him a wedgie on the way up. I don't know. Who grabs him by uh, the wedgie to throw. <laughs> <laughs> so that that is your action. You were using thaumaturgy to, to lift Archibald up to a second floor window. I, when he could I, so I, easily jump up there. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he literally spent Augustine, so much experience points like an incredible amount a single expenditure <laughs> of experience points to be able to jump and he's like fuck it grow I'm me cons- a tree I'm conserving my energy <laughs> burning through <laughs> thaumaturgical spell slots to grow yourself a tree to go where you could so so easily jump I lean over the roof and I say, you guys keep watch. Don't let them get away. Because they're going to want to get away. I feel a- like... They're going to want to get away from these hands. I know this is like a super fantasy game, whatever. Do I have a way to charge the laptop in the car? This is a super <laughs> fantasy game. It's always charged. Yeah, no, but the battery is fine. <laughs> uh, okay. roll, roll computers. <laughs> roll oh electricity, God. please. You can actually burn blood to charge the battery. Are you serious? No. no. That is the most late stage <laughs> capitalism thing I've ever heard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Use your blood to charge your products. Augustine, we're already up here. Once we get to the bot, we have we're gonna land at the same time. But then 
You go left, and I go right. How big is this chimney? Are we going in, like, big spoon, little spoon into this chimney, or... What? <laughs> That's what I was saying! Don't you have any rope? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I go down the roof. I'm in. You go down the chimney. Uh, we pretend that things like flu v- valves uh, don't exist, and you just... Uh, yeah, you just land at the bottom of the fireplace, and <laughs> this is just the dumbest shit. Yep. Santa Claus is coming <laughs> to town. Much more logically, I don my bear cub on top of my head. I assume it hugs uh-huh. my bone, the and cub? I very casually climb down in a. I'm less sorry. You bring a bear fashion. on a sneak mission? You're wearing it like a helmet. Yes, I have cub helmet. Uh, so the bear cub picks up on the fact that you are trying to be stealthy, and it's normal, like cute little chittering and like sounds that it makes. It also quiets down because it's it's used to. Uh, let's say bear cubs can tell when. Uh, like oh, their sure. parents are trying to be like stealthy and hunting. I have no idea if that's actual bear behavior, but it is also being quiet. Augustine, you go left. It should be noted that left is a wall. Left is a wall. Okay. Then you poke your head around the corner and you see a bedroom with a pair of bunk beds and they are occupied. Shit. Oh, is it time? We're going to do it, huh? Okay. Theoretically, we don't need both of them. And kind of, like, look lustfully hungry <laughs> at one. No, I would like to kill them both, please. But we do need one for information. Ah, for interrogation. The time being. But what if, if we find out? What if we keep one alive and then find out that that was the, the dumb sidekick? Of the smart one, and he didn't really know much of anything. And we accidentally killed the smart one. We should probably check with both of them before we just outright kill. What are you gonna ask him? Who's the smart one? <laughs> fine, fine. Be reasonable if you must. One brother always we lies. The other one always tells the truth. It's a very okay. confusing situation. We will situation. keep them both until we identify which one is the most useless. I barge back into the room and say. Have you heard of Peter Gabriel? Because I'd like to introduce you to his hit single, Sledgehammer. Hammer! <laughs> now, which one of you two is the smart one? <laughs> oh, my God. Like... Then I pull out my gun. Who are you people? What are you doing in our house? We're asking the questions. He's awfully calm for a guy who just got his hand smashed. Also, ow! Also, Ow. <laughs> He looks at you and... We're asking the questions, and and I think I would swing the sledgehammer again without asking a question. Terry, these are some of the fiends that we've been hunting. Perhaps tonight we'll have an opportunity to to destroy some of these demons ourselves, and then he gets hit with your sledgehammer. (laughs) Great. Uh, Where where are you cracking him? Head. (laughs) Just in the face? (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) I figured out which one's the smart one. It's the one that I'm not hitting. Oh, it'll take more than that to kill us. And he's... he's okay, still and that's when I pull something. out my gun and shoot him in the face. Yes. Is that a gun? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God, just the murder twins. <laughs> and then I look up to the other one and say, now you're the smart one. <laughs> so you shoot... The one in the bottom bunk. In the face. We're not going to tell you anything. We'd rather die than help you and your... I think I take the suck, the sickle and just lob his head off at that point. Guy in the top bunk, oddly, is just like up on one elbow, like oddly calm about what's happening. And he's not he's not taking any action. Yeah, I slice head off and then just look up at him and and I say, you're the smart one now. We have some questions. It's like a, a genocide uh, campaign against 
you know, vampires, which shouldn't exist. And, you know, you guys probably do want to continue existing. So I, I assume you are working counter to our goals. So I, I probably shouldn't help you. And you grow a tomato plant in his face. And he goes, ah, ah, fuck, ah, what, what even, what even, dude? What is this? And why? What? We're going I mean, to need more direct answers from you or the plant will become more vital. I mean, I'm telling you stuff. Like, I first off, this is super weird that you could even do this. I didn't know that that was like a deal with with you. Yeah, it's a vampire thing, man. Are these tomatoes? And it's just it's growing <laughs> like tomato <laughs> fruit all over the place. If there's a budding tomato out of the plant already, I grab one in response to his question and put it in my mouth and just let it ooze out of my <laughs> teeth. And just go, he's like, yes. loves tomatoes. Dude. Fucking sociopath. Dude, you're so like, weird. That's even and... hardcore because vampires don't like eat like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He didn't want to get sick from eating the food. This is so much weirder than I thought it was going to be. And also, is that a bear cub? I, I'm i not certain <laughs> that I'm actually awake right now. Just to I grab another tomato and I hold it up to Paddington for him to chomp He's on. and still sitting again. on you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, are you guys, guys going to kill me, like, sometime soon? Because I want to I get to, to being a ghost so I can go back to... Serving my master as a ghost. So, Augustine, we're taking him prisoner. Shit. Indubitably. I, I'm glad we're on the scene. Cool. Page. Thanks for letting us know, bud. Uh, but, like, uh, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you rather kill us? Mm. Yes. Already got one of those out of my system tonight. The reason I was going to go fetch a body bag was because I was going to go out to the garage to get that. We were going to wrap him up, and then I was going to insist that we Santa him back up the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that work? <laughs> it does, because it's just funny. It's a funny thing to do. do you- All right, so we just, like, shimmy shimmy this Cocoa Puff out to the, the, the trunk, right? I, I walk puff? out with it in my arms and say, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Very Jack Skeleton. Uh... Yeah, that's his name. Skellington. <laughs> Jack Skelly, man. Uh, are we able to disable the emergency release on the trunk? So, like, if he does get free of his bindings, he can't mm-hmm. let himself out of the trunk? Oh, do we think that the Tremere would want a new, like, cage boy? Oh. There Knowing you go. them, that seems that's... plausible. Also, you can rip the, uh, like, the lever out of the inside of the trunk. Or the voice box out of the inside of the guy. (laughs) Did we put a pin on our Google Maps, Excavo, for the death house? Murder house, doom house. (laughs) No one gets that reference. Hey, Reginald P. Lennox, how are you doing? A doom house? You haven't moved out of this murder house, doom house. Yet. This session is dedicated to Norm Macdonald. This session is dedicated to Norm Macdonald. Yeah, is it just following me? Like, what's the deal with the squirrel? How actively do I have to maintain the squirrel relationship? Here's a suggestion. The squirrel is in the hat. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. A botch on a degeneration roll results in losing a point of humanity and conscience and 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 the gaining of a derangement, the details of which will be made apparent uh, at a future point. So, Archibald. Wait, what? You now have. Wait, I'm not allowed to kill people? You are allowed now to kill people. Now you're going to be really allowed to kill people. 